right quick aces tutorial so leave all your color management settings like that you can use a view transform if you want so you could use AGX you could use filmic whatever I'm just gonna keep mine on standard because that's how I've made my scene uh, so go to the render tab um, go to your color management settings and make sure you're on OpenEXR or OpenEXR multi-layer if you've got multiple layers um, just go to the color management bit there click on the override and set it to aces CG now what you render out is going to come out in aces so let's go to after effects and you can see I've set this up so I've got the same result here that I've got in after effects and let me walk you through how I've got that result so the first thing you need to do is go to your project tab and click on where it says 32 bits per channel it could say 16 or 8 there for you just click it and copy these settings here so Adobe color manage 32 bits per channel working color space none and assume the working gamma as sRGB so click OK uh, then you want to obviously bring your footage in right click it interpret main go to the color tab and anything you bring in from blender just make sure you're preserving the RGB because we don't want to use any color management yet on it we want to make sure we're doing it all ourselves so we're not letting um, After Effects uh, take control of it for us basically so once you've done that just make an adjustment layer at the top of your comp and on the adjustment layer you're going to add the open color IO effect and I'll leave the, the link for that in the description so if, if I turn this off you can see that's what the render looks like by default it's too dark obviously so I'll just remove this and add it again to show you how it works so I'll add the effect on the adjustment layer above all my clips and on the configuration there I'm just going to drop it down custom and then I'm going to go to where I've got blender installed so for me it's on my C drive um, and then just go to the data files color management and then select your config and by default it's going to have the wrong settings here this is the default blender settings so you need to set your input space we've done that as ACCG so linear ACCG and then output space we need sRGB so say I wanted to use AGX so you can see that's what AGX would look like I can just click display there and that'll give me a new tab at the bottom I just click that to AGX and you see we're matching up so if I click that to filmic uh, that's what filmic should look like and you see we get control after the fact after we've rendered in After Effects so that's uh, that's cool that's really cool so that's how everything works uh, I can give a more detailed explanation on why I use this uh, method because you might think you want to just turn on OCIO color management there and then select ACCG but basically that makes a lot of different effects not work correctly in After Effects so um, using the default Adobe color managed it makes sure like all my third party plugins work perfectly all it means is I've got to put this one adjustment layer above everything with the open color IO effect on it which is so much easier than all the other steps that uh, everyone else is teaching so happy days have a good one